once again here to give instructions to referee in charge is Telus Asimenios. Gentlemen, we have received instructions in the dressing rooms. Obey my commands at all times. Protect yourselves at all times. Your belts are great, both of you. Shake hands and God bless. As Larry Merchant once asked about a fighter, will we see the Triple G of old or just an old Triple G? Here we go. 21st middleweight title defense for Gennady Golovkin, the spoiler. Camille Sharameta undefeated, but obviously the level of competition tonight is through the roof. Triple G in the gold and purple, the Lakers colors, Sharameta in the Polish red and white. How important is it for a Triple G to establish the jab? I mean, I think that's the best punch that he has in his arsenal, it sets up all his power punches. If he gets on that early, this could be a short night. No one is more accurate with their jab in all of boxing than Triple G, who lands 9.9 .9 a round. There's two of in a row, and two in a row right there. Make it three. And I'll quote Gabe Rosado on this. He said some of those jabs feel like right hands, like they're power punches. Once the most feared fighter in all of boxing. Some of that luster perhaps wiped off after the two Canelo no, fights. No punch, right? Not the boogeyman he once was, but still, many consider him to be the best in the middleweight division, 38 years old. Triple G looking very strong, very solid. Looked very the way and looks good. Looks like he filled in nicely here. His physique is fantastic. Best I think I've ever seen from, from Triple G. It speaks volumes coming off that very, very close fight against Sergei Dervianchenko. That was last October. We haven't seen him since. He's obviously been working. You said Sharometa has to push the tempo, has to be aggressive. You know, he started the first 30 seconds like that. He came out with a landed a good jab, pushed Triple G back. But once Triple G got on that jab, it's been all Gennady Golovkin going forward. Redness already on the face of Sharometa. IBF middleweight championship on the line. Sharometa telling us this is the biggest fight in Poland this year. Everyone in that country will be watching. I really like what I'm seeing from Triple G so far. This is this is exactly what I expected. Him coming out, utilizing his jab, setting up his power punches. We haven't seen a whole lot yet, but you can see him analyzing. Right hand there scores for Sharometa. of course, used to giant sellout crowds. Probably only about 100 people in here tops. You're in the bubble. Hollywood, Hard Rock Resort, and Casino. Good uppercut. That may have scored the body. That froze Sharameta for a second. Oh, what a left hand. Sends Sharameta down just like Three, that. Four, five, six, seven, eight. And that will be it for round one. What an exclamation point for Gennady Golovkin. Great work so far. Tremendous left hook dropped at the end. I want to see where that uppercut. We couldn't see from the, our vantage point. I want to see what that landed on the chin or the body. It was the jab show for about two minutes and 50 seconds of that first round. And then all of a sudden, Golovkin, with a power punch, sends Sharameta down to the canvas. Here, we're going to see a replay of that left hook that dropped Sharameta right at the end of the round. Talk about putting an exclamation point on the end of a round. Comes up from a crouch position, comes up with the left hook, cracks Sharameta right on the on the eye there. Flash knockdown. He looked okay. He, too rocked when he got up. He almost looked at Gennady Golovkin to say, what are you doing to me? How did that happen? So a 10-8 opening round for Triple G, and he appears to be... Back. Let's see how aggressive he is here in the second to go ahead and get Sharameta out of there. This was the mandatory opponent for Gennady Golovkin. But if he wins this, the world is his oyster. So many big fights available. Especially if he wins this in exciting fashion. If he looks like the Triple G of old, the price tag on the next fight isn't going to go that much more up. 
good head movement there for Triple G. Let's bring in Gabe Rosado. You've been on the receiving end of one of those left hooks. What are your thoughts? You know, Triple G's doing a great job establishing the jab early, power jab. And one thing he's doing, man, he's looping that right hand right by the ear in the equilibrium. That left hook, man, is like picture perfect. It's right, it's right on the money. All systems go for Triple G so far here. I really like what I'm seeing. He's, he's coming in behind the jab. Oh, again, oh. right hand. Knocks Sarabetta off balance, and he's holding on. Every time Triple G throws a power punch, there are repercussions. Right on cue from what Gabe said, that overhand right, that looping around the guard shook Sharametta. What must be going through the mind of Sharametta right now? Wow, he is what, he, what they will say he was. <laughs> well, as you know, the last thing to go for a fighter, if you watched any of the Rocky movies, is the power. Yeah. That's one thing that is not lacked in any of Triple G's fights. He's an extremely powerful puncher with both hands. Yeah. Blunt force trauma. What differences have you seen from Triple G after leaving Abel Sanchez to move on with his new trainer, Jonathan Banks? I don't know if I say I see anything different, but I see him mixing his offense and his defense very, very well, which I've seen in the past. He's got great subtle head movement going right under shots, just outside shots, setting up his power punch. He's wasting nothing. And that was, a, that was a shot on the ear. That is a knockdown, an equilibrium punch. His legs are rocked. Sharameta may not make it to see round three. Here we go. Golovkin, left hook, jab. You see Triple G loading up that right hand. Seems to just be a matter of time. The next time he clips Sharametta with a power punch, you got a feeling the Polish fighter is going down and may not get up this side. Oh, nice uppercut from Gennady Golovkin. He has been a menace since the opening bell, right hand on the ear. And that bell ringing can't come soon enough for the Polish fighter, who has suffered two knockdowns in two rounds. What he's, what he's doing, now he's in survival mode. He's trying to survive. Oh. He's trying to survive. Now. Your rhythm is too much for him now. Good rhythm. You got good movement and you're patient. Keep the patient. But keep everything compact. Here we're going to see closing out the second round. Triple G scoring with the overhand right that clips Sharametta on the ear. Took his equilibrium. A little bit of a delayed reaction shot when he lost his legs. Got up on very shaky legs after that. How much more does Sharametta have left? You heard Jonathan Banks say he's in survival mode now. I bet you I would look for Triple G to look for the body punches now. He's a great left hook to the liver. And when you got a guy who's quote unquote in survival mode, that's a great shot to land. Triple G looking to make history tonight. You know the executioner Bernard Hopkins is watching. Has to be impressed by what he's seeing. Triple G landing an average of 11 jabs per round so far. And those are not light jabs. They're not pawing jabs. They're, those are power jabs. And those jabs set up the power punches. Guys get so gun shy because they're getting hit by that stiff, hard jab. It's constantly in their face. They don't see the overhand rights and left hooks. And you said the key to victory for Sharametta was to be the aggressor, push forward. But Triple G has, you know, put him down twice. Why would Sharametta try and get back in the kitchen again? I said that was his chance. I didn't say it was going to work. <laughs> Beautiful head when the slides on the inside, throws the, throws the overhand right over the jab, clips Sharametta on the temple. Triple G really dialed in. Being so accurate with all of his power punches. Triple G told an interesting story about how he got into boxing with an interview with Cristiano Ronaldo on the zone. He said when he was a kid, he was on a soccer team in the boxing gym. Fighters had a soccer team and they challenged Gennady's guys to play soccer. They played Triple G won and they said, well, let's see if you can beat me in boxing. So he shows up at the gym the next day, said he got beat up, bloodied. 
And they said, I guess you're not going to fight again. And he said, I'll see you tomorrow. He never left the gym after that. And here he is, a chance to make history tonight as he continues to pepper that jab in the face of Sheremetta. Oh, nice uppercut. Grazing right hand. Stop, stop. Sheremetta's face looks like he's already fought 10 rounds. Punch you were asking for. We can body shot. We can hear that ringside from here. Hey! Big breath there from Sharametta after eating that big body shot to the left side. You hear Sharametta breathing. Well, at least he didn't get knocked down in this round. Small victory for him. Todd Beershaw, forever the optimist. <laughs> oh, good luck to deliver in the round. A dominating performance thus far for Gennady Golovkin. Punch in the arsenal has been going the way of Triple G. Here we see a right uppercut underneath the jab of Sharametta. Switches it to an overhand right. Beautiful combination. Again, setting everything up with his jab and landing all of his power punches at this point. There are some watching right now that instead of saying, boy, Triple G looks great, maybe saying, boy, Sharametta is just not worth his salt. What do you see? I don't know. I see a great Triple G. And I, I've said this a couple times in interviews that the, the Triple G of old takes a guy like Sharametta and makes him look like this. So I just think that we're seeing a, a proper Triple G right now. And Triple G has landed, Chris, landed half the power punches he's thrown so far. Yeah, it's just because of that jab. He sets him up. The jab is scoring. The power punches are landing. He just got caught with one there, but unleashed a few left hooks. Triple G just looks so strong tonight. Yeah. Everyone was impressed by his physique yesterday at the weigh-ins. If there is a perhaps a silver lining or a ray of sunshine for Zarameta, remember Triple G put Darianchenko down early, but Darianchenko came back to make that a very close fight. Not sure Zarameta is capable of doing that, but it has been done before. Yeah, but already Darianchenko was much more in the fight than Zarameta is at this point. And Zarameta may not have the power to really even concern Triple G. Now that's 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 the big differential here. I, I'm not seeing that snap or that 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 heavy-handedness from Sharametta that can get Triple G's eyes open or close, for that matter. Scheduled for 12. We're in the fourth round. It has been all Gennady Golovkin. A knockdown in the first. A knockdown in the second. Overhand right, and then the left hook, and it's a triple knockdown for Triple G. Four, five, six, seven, eight. Does he want to continue? He says yes. A minute for Triple G to finish this in the fourth. Chairman, does not look good at all. The referee taking a close look. Power is just not there from Sharametta. Triple G is going. Oh, there's that body shot I've been looking for. Sharametta being beaten to a pulp here in our main event tonight. If Canelo's watching right now, what do you think he is seeing here? Or what is he thinking? Uh, I'm thinking he's seeing that there's going to be a third fight. <laughs> Think he wants that smoke? One more time. Oh, I do. I do. Canelo's the kind of he's a warrior. He wants the big fights. Why not do it again? Got to get past Callum Smith first tomorrow. Let's bring in Gabe Rosado. Gabe, how impressed are you? Yeah, you know this is Triple G of old. You know he's looking fantastic. Establishing the jab. He's switching up speed. Going, going to the body. Going up top. You know Shermetta just doesn't know what to do at this point. Well, Chris, <laughs> what does Shermetta have to do at this point? Honestly, I, I I don't see the power to get any respect from Triple G at this point. Triple G is walking through any kind of speed. The power for Sherman, is just, it's just not there to get the, the respect. Here's a look at that knockdown. Triple G had landed an overhand right just before that, and then came up with a left uppercut. There's that right hand I was talking about on the ear. 
The overhand right has been really on point. Oh, there's that left hook to the liver. I'm surprised Sharameta stood up to that. Give him credit. Been down three times, stood up three times. More punishment on the way, surely, here in round number five. Like Gabe said, he doesn't he, he doesn't look discouraged as much as he looks surprised. Like he doesn't have anything, doesn't have an answer. Thank you. Goodbye, John. 26 of 42 power punches landed for Gennady Golovkin there in the fourth round. Ooh, good right hand there from Charmetta. The more Charmetta throws, the more open he is for the counter. As seen there, left hook to the body again. Triple G's looking for that right uppercut, left hook to the liver combination that he used against Matthew Macklin on the ropes. Good head movement. Everything coming up roses for Golovkin. No lack of heart from Sharameta. He's taking big shots. He's still in there. He's still throwing. A lot of pride for sure in Sharameta. He knows his entire country is behind him. A lot of guys will be looking for a way out right now. Sharameta is still in there, still trying to fight. Not having much success, but... And you wonder if he goes down again, if his corner will say enough is enough. That's one thing that always surprised and impressed... Ooh, there's that uppercut again. Impressed me about Triple G. He'll throw a left hook on top of your head and hit you in the skull and still hurt you. That is concussive power. Most guys avoid the high, high head shots because they're hurting their hands. Not Triple G. He looks for it. Well, between 2008 and 2017, Golovkin scored 23 consecutive knockouts. Another shot on the ear. Sharameta trying to hold on. Can't blame him for that. But Triple G continues to land punches from the clinch. He's really letting that left hook fly. Shifty head movement there for Triple G. Showing some new folds. If you're Triple G at this point, are you just waiting for your moment? Or are you thinking, hey, let's just get this guy out of here. The less work I need to put in now, the better. Um, yeah, I'm thinking that. I'm thinking the latter. The less work we put in, the better. Let's get this guy out of here. He's pretty much ready to go. Let me set up the big shot. Time! Well, Todd, you had asked if I had seen anything different in Triple G style since working with Jonathan Banks. How about that? Some slipping and sliding and rolling his head movement. Fantastic rhythm. Jonathan Banks always talks about that rhythm and timing. That's exactly a great example of it right there. He's ready to go home. He's just waiting on you. <laughs> great line. That combination you did. When you run it once, shoot it again. He's ready to go home. He's just waiting on you. That might be the line of the night. Yeah. Well, here comes the bus. Time to take him home, says Jonathan Banks. We are in round six, scheduled for 12. Three knockdowns so far for Triple G. Golovkin going downstairs and coming with a left uppercut. Sure, I'm trying to show some life here in the sixth. hit him on purpose just so there would be entertainment for the crowd well when you score 
multiple knockdowns in the first five rounds of the fight. The crowd is going to be entertained. <laughs> oh, nice uppercut. Left hook. Right hand and a counter right for Sharameta. He's still fighting back. There it is. I was just going to say, if I had one knock, I would like to see more consistent body punching from Triple G. You got a guy like Sharameta who's super tough, taking the shots, doesn't have any quit in him. A lot of times some well-placed body shots can put the quit in your mind. Left hand there for Triple G. Hey, the over-under in this fight was five and a half rounds, so Sharameta beating the odds there despite the three knockdowns. Shot. Triple G kind of fighting in spurts right now. This has been the best round of the fight for Sharameta, which obviously isn't saying much. Best round in as he didn't get knocked down? <laughs> <laughs> Correct. Ooh, oh, we can hear these shots so clearly. I'm surprised the body shot hasn't put him down. We hear him breathing, literally, when he gets hit with those shots. Let him again. 10 seconds. Yeah, I think this might be an opportunity where Triple G just needs to force the stoppage by letting his hands go. All right, let's send it up to Gabe Rosado. Are you surprised that Triple G hasn't gotten him out of there yet? No, not at all. You know, Sharmet is just, you know, very durable. You know, um, Triple G's just doing what he does. You know, he breaks his opponent down round by round. He's really not going to, you know, he's not a one-punch knockout artist. He's more of a punisher. He's going to break you down, and that's what he's doing to Sharmetta right now. I think it's just a matter of time. Good to have Gabe Rosado in Hollywood, Florida. The performance so far for Triple G, not much not to like, for sure. It seems that the overhand rights are having more of an effect on Sharmetta than the straight rights. I think everything's having an effect, including that clubbing right hand. Triple G coming out of the gates hot here in the seventh. Okay, I'm punching. I think this is a good idea for Triple G to start the round intensely because he's been finishing rounds intensely, intensely dropping Sharameta and then the bell. Maybe if you can put some hurt on him early, he'll be able to get him out. Triple G allows Sharameta to hang around. The more opportunity Sharameta has to cut Triple G, damage an eye, cause an injury. And there's a, then it was a jab, ladies and gentlemen. A jab puts Sharameta down for the fourth time. He'll continue some more. You got to believe this is where it is. Yeah, this, it seems like it's going to be just an attrition. Looking over at the corner of Sharameta, seeing if anyone's grabbing that white towel yet. Does not appear to be that way. They'll let him live by the sword and die by the sword. I mean, this is the biggest opportunity of his career thus far. They want to give him the best shot, but I don't see it. Oh, good body shot again. Nothing behind the punches of Sharameta anymore. Now Triple G is beat, beating the fight out of him at this point. Timing the uppercut, beautiful. Yeah. You can see Triple G just moving into position to set up some big shot. Chris, I believe you were dropped five times by Manny Pacquiao, but kept getting up. What is it about a fighter such as yourself and such as Sharameta that even though the odds are now a million to one, you continue to stay in the fight? It's the O. He's never been stopped. He's never been beat. He doesn't have that in him. He hasn't learned how to stay down. A lot of courage on display here from Sharameta, who has proven his toughness, but his skill level just pales in comparison to one of the greats. At 38 years, 264 days, Golovkin, the second oldest fighter to hold a widely recognized championship, only behind Manny Pacquiao, who turned 42 on December 17th. 
And Charmetta is one tough guy. He has taken heavy shots up the stairs, downstairs. Up a little bit that round. Moore just letting his hands go. Turns over the left jab, doubles it up. Second one landing solidly on the chin. Putting Sharametta on the canvas for the fourth time tonight. And the referee has waved it off, ladies and gentlemen. He has stopped it. History made as Triple G, Gennady Golovkin, defends the middleweight title for the 21st time, passing the legendary Bernard Hopkins. He'll take a bow, fully deserved.